Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a weekly reading for Virgo from the 22nd to the 28th of April 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading, I've uh, put my details in the description box. So please go to my website, jessmud.co.uk and book a reading. I've also put the decks that I'm using in the description box. So please have a look. And don't forget to watch my uh, simple energy healing remedies as well as my deck reviews that I've been putting out. You will enjoy those videos. And uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with a general energy read and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. So I'm using the mythical goddess tarot for this particular read. Okay, so you've got the child, the innocence, so there's something brand new that you're starting off over here. Now you're dealing with the, uh, the situation around you seems to be a rather, um, you know, there's a lot of chaos going on around. You might be dealing with a lot of difficult people. There's a lot of emotional ups and downs that you're going through. But you're very much protected. You've got this really nice heart covering of the shell over here. So you are protecting yourself and you are starting something brand new. So you've got that child, that innocence, which is the page of a cup. So there might be some kind of new offer coming in for you and maybe you're starting off in a brand new path. You might be starting off some further education, starting off a new course, uh, but doing something that makes you pretty, pretty happy. You've got the denial card over here uh, that's uh, crowning your reading, which is uh, Venus in Scorpio. So, you know, maybe a bit of emotional problems that you've been dealing with. Um, Scorpio ruled by Mars, and then you've got Venus over there. So there's a bit of conflict that is going around. Maybe there's somebody that you're dealing with that you don't particularly get along with. It's caused a lot of, a lot of confusion. Now, you've got that... Um, end of the moon cycle over there so this is all coming to an end as far as that goes but you also need to find yourself a goal and you need to focus and uh, you know you need to uh, this is a card about daydreaming so you know you need to actually see you can see there's a lot of snakes around here you might be dealing with a lot of difficult people a lot of toxic people as well and you know maybe you're in a position where you can't make up your mind about what you want to do next so you need to focus you need to be very very practical about what you do and do some research so there's a lot of options available with the seven of uh, sees, uh, but it's also a card about procrastination. So you need to really, uh, you know, take the bull by the horns and you need to focus and you need to get going. Um, don't sit and daydream. This is something, uh, you know, you need to find some focus in. You've got the fire mother of regeneration. So this is also taking back your control, taking back your power and dealing with any kind of difficult situations around you. You can see there's a lot of fire on this card. And then there's a third uh, uh, um, crown chakra opening up over there. So you need to actually get that focus back again. So whatever you are procrastinating about, uh, you need to find that focus again and move forward. So in the past, you've got the Crone Resurrection card, and this is uh, Scorpio. So you might have been dealing with very, very toxic situations, toxic people. There's a lot of snakes over here, and that caused a lot of distress and a lot of anxiety that you were dealing with. And then you've got that Creative Spark. So you had a new idea come into your head, <coughs> something that you're focusing, something that you want to put your energies on. And you want, you know, and, you know, it, it arose because you were going through such a difficult situation. So you have come up with a new idea, a solution to your problem. But don't leave it as a pipe dream. Make sure that you are putting your energies into that particular dream. You don't want, uh, you know, that seven of cups is about having a lot of options, but not knowing which one to choose. So you need to make up your mind. You've got the mother um, card over here, which is the Pisces card and it says perception. Now uh, Pisces is, this is the um, queen of um, cups and this is about feeling a little bit depressed, a bit, uh, you know, uh, scattered as well. Now um, you need to put an end to, uh, you know, any kind of emotional uh, problems that you're dealing with. Pisces is ruled by Pluto and Pluto usually ends things and, um, you know, you need to focus your um, emotions on something constructive rather than, you know, having it all over the place. And this is being a lot, uh, being very, very intuitive. Now, uh, on the other side of it, you could be having some issues uh, involving your mother. In itself, you might be dealing with some problems uh, regarding a, a mother figure in your life. 
Now, you've got the Gaia card over here. This is the world. This is in completion. So you will be able to sort out any kind of toxic situations. She's got this huge python around her. So this is about dealing with very, very difficult toxic situations, but also reaching a state of completion. And, uh, you know, Gaia is, a, is uh, the card ruled by Saturn. And this is about um, achievement, achieving, uh, you know, all that success and achieving your goals because you focused and you worked really hard and you reach a sense of com completion. And it's also getting closure on certain conditions, um, certain situations that you're dealing with. So you might get a closure on an emotional problem that you're dealing with and you'll be able to move forward. This is the end of a difficult cycle and you will now be able to move forward. So it's very important for you to focus and for you to move forward. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Manga Tarot. And this is for the general read. Okay, so bottom of the deck, you've got the Moon card over here. And this is trying to achieve some kind of harmony, some kind of peace in your life. And maybe you are struggling with a very difficult problem, you know, almost dancing around that problem. You can see this woman's dancing with a bear over there, and it's the moon card. So there's a lot of confusion going on. You're, you know, you're, you're not quite sure what you want to do next. And you are trying to sort through problems, trying to deal with difficult things. There's a, there's a bit of depression maybe going on there as well. So you need to get uh, control back of those energies. If you're feeling a bit scattered, it's, it's a good time for you now to bring in some focus and uh, you know have practical solutions to your problems you've got the empress card over here and this is being crossed by the nine of pentacles so you're working hard to achieve your goals you are very very focused on it you're putting all your energy on it and you want to get your financial independence and your financial recognition as well and you want money to come in this is where your focus is and you are going to achieve this you've got this empress card over here and this is the card that is ruled by venus and so this is the card that also rules personal finances so it looks like you are going to be very successful at what you have and you're going to be able to nurture things as well you've got the swan looking after these little baby swan looks i think they're called <laughs> So you are going to be able to achieve. This is something that you are going to get that uh, uh, abundance that you need and that will come in. But it involves a lot of determination and taking a stand for what you want. You can see this man over here as well. He's very determined. You can see he is very focused and you know he's in a spot where nobody is messing with him. So you need to actually focus and decide what your goal is. If it's a financial goal and it seems like it is, you need to get out of this feeling about being scattered or being confused and you need to focus on the goal. And you can see the card below that particular moon card is that Prince of Pentacles. Now you are working, you may have lost your focus a little bit, but you need to get back on track. It's very, very important and not procrastinate. You've got the Princess of Wands over here. This is talking about, uh, you know, starting a new job, maybe communicating with a lot of people, being in control and dealing with a lot of difficult problems, difficult people. But you are very, very stable in what you believe in and you are working pretty hard. And like I said, you might be even traveling as well with this particular job that you're doing. You are starting to achieve everything that you want. You've got that nine of cups over here coming in. So there's some satisfaction coming in over here. Uh, you might, it's also a kind of overindulging in certain things. So, uh, you know, make sure that you get yourself focused. So uh, try not to, um, you know, take it easy. Uh, the work is not yet done. You just have to keep going in order for to, you to achieve that 10. This is the nine of cups. So this is satisfaction and achieving, uh, uh, you know, your goals. This is that wish fulfillment and it is coming into play right now. So you are adapting to the situation. You are very, very busy at the moment. You can see there's a lot of uh, challenges coming in along the uh, way for this woman and she's trying to manipulate herself around all these challenges. So you are trying to cope and it's taking a lot of mental energy. It's probably exhausting you quite a bit because eight wands coming at you is eight different responsibilities or a lot of responsibilities and a lot of challenges and you having to dance around. You can see she's even dancing with the bear here. So that's, you know, you're, you're really, um, you know... Um, very very busy almost busy off your feet really so you're pretty you know you're pretty much um uh, very involved and very very um f you are um trying to sort out a lot of problems there's a lot of issues that are, are cropping up uh, maybe unexpected issues that you're dealing with 
So going into the future, you've got the King of Pentacles over here, and this is uh, maybe there's somebody around you that is going to be very, very supportive in the situation. Um, this could also be, you know, if you're having any kind of medical anxiety issues or any kind of medical problems, make sure that you are seeking medical problems, medical um, uh, intervention, really, not medical problems, but medical intervention. So uh, this is about maybe uh, needing to get your health uh, pay attention to your health. This could also be a chance for some further study, or maybe you are taking on a role of being a teacher or a mentor, but also this is about getting that emotional support that you need. So there will be somebody around you that is going to be there to help you out of a difficult situation. Now you've got the Prince of Wands over here. So this is maintaining your balance despite the fact that all this drama is going on around you and there seems to be quite a bit of drama that you're facing at the moment you've got that eight of wands so there's like a lot of challenges and drama you've got this dancing with a the bear there's a lot of dif difficult uh, things going on and here you're trying to take control and trying to sort things out with this nine of pentacles you know being very focused on that work so you are in a very very uh you know um dramatic situation you are in a in a situation where there's a lot of things happening at once but you are managing to maintain your balance and you just need to keep that focus that you've got going so uh, you've got the seven of cups over here so a lot of options coming in again for you um, here and there might be some kind of um, news coming in for you there could also be an option of further study which you might need to consider uh, maybe you need to uh, get some further uh, skills or enhance your skills and you are considering doing this so you've got these options available for you and you are thinking about going for it or going into some kind of further study so the lover's card is showing that there's some kind of choice, some kind of big decision that needs to be made and you are considering what to do next. So there is some kind of decision you are facing at the moment. So going into the final outcome would be the two of pentacles, the fool and the two of swords. So you've got two decision cards over here and you've got the lover's card over here. So you're facing some kind of big decision that you have to make about starting afresh. So you've got the two of pentacles, you know, this is getting that balance back with your finances, getting your balance back in your life and your work. You need to find a healthy balance between life, uh, your social life and your work life. Maybe you're overdoing it on the work side of things, maybe too focused on the work and not enough focus on, on, on the health. And maybe this is why you may need to be seeking some kind of medical advice or counseling to get you through this particular situation. But this is also making that decision and this is also going through your finances and assessing it and making sure that you're not overspending in one field and, uh, you know, uh, you know, making sure that you have some kind of balance going on over there, especially in your work situation. It looks like you want to leave things and move on. Uh, maybe things are not really working out for you in this particular job. Maybe there's too much of responsibilities. And there's that two of swords over here. So you're listening to everybody's opinions and everybody's input, and you're trying to make some kind of decision about what to do next. Now, the uh, two of swords is also about trying, you know, it's about um, legal matters. So you could be signing new contracts as well or reviewing some kind of official uh information as well but you're definitely needing to to uh you know you must need read all the fine print don't overlook anything be very very um particular on what you read and uh go through it very carefully whatever official information you have to uh go through and make a decision on that and the decision has to be made on logic so you don't uh don't let yourself get emotionally uh, upset in any kind of situation try and take a step back uh, think about it carefully, communicate, listen to what people have got to say, and then make that decision based on, you know, the best uh, outcome that you would want for that situation. So make a very logical decision. Okay, so I'm just going to draw some cards from the Guardian Angel um, or, uh, Tarot for the Oracle read. And the first one is the Ace of Thoughts, which is the Ace of Swords, really. This cherub is arrived to congratulate you on your brilliant new idea, which has truly is truly inspired. It is important to communicate clearly and thoroughly with others who are involved in the implementation of your idea. Don't be dissuaded by little challenges along the way. These are merely course corrections for your perfect plan. So you will be able to be victorious in whatever you're, uh, you're dealing with. If you're dealing with any kind of legal issue, you will be victorious because the Ace of Swords is usually a victory card and it allows you to cut away things that are not working for you. It's also a card that says that you need to go and, um, go and look for the truth in the matter. So some kind of truth needs to be revealed and you need to dig for it, find it out and implement it in order for you to be victorious. You've got the six of emotions over here which says memories can fill your heart with many emotions. It is important to remember the past accurately without seeing it uh, as better or worse. People you used to know may return in your life unexpectedly. Children may be an important issue and you may have 
uh, a need to reconnect with your inner child. So you could be dealing with children, uh, maybe in some kind of um, uh, teaching capacity, younger people. But this is also a card that you might be bumping into somebody from the past that you've met. Or it also could be an offer coming in for you from somebody uh, from that you knew in the past. Um, and then you've got the successful completion. This is the world card. Um, and this is showing uh, it is time for an incredible accomplishment. You're justified in feeling joy and a sense of completion. A pride in an amazing job well done. You've been blessed with many spiritual insights. Soon you will begin a new journey. But now take the time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true. So you have a, the card of achievement. And it's a successful completion of everything that you've been setting your mind to. So maybe the new decision, the decisions that you will have to make is about starting afresh or starting a new journey but whatever you've been doing you've got that decision card over here and as well as that two of pentacles and even that lover's card so you are reaching the end phase of this particular cycle or this particular particular project that you've been dealing with and you've been facing a lot of problems and dealing with a lot of uh, obstacles but it looks like it's going to be successful whatever you have uh, done and soon you will have to make a decision about what you want to do next and how you want to proceed from there. So make sure you're discussing with people, getting some advice. Uh, there looks like money is coming in. You've got that Nine of Pentacles money dropping in from the sky there. So it looks like there's going to be definitely, there's definitely a successful completion and there's some money coming in. Maybe a promotion, what you've been working to. You've got that Empress card over here as well. So something really good coming in, a position of authority, or you're going to be you know, well recognized for what you've done and you're going to be celebrating soon uh, a victory. So this is a good place to be at. Even though you're facing a lot of difficulties now and you're a bit confused, uh, you know, just rope it all in. Try and get some organization. Try and get some order to your thoughts, uh, order to the, that situation. And, um, you know, you will be achieving. So don't be anxious about that. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.